Good afternoon from Les in Thailand. This is the, my third video on hydroponics and hydroponics in Thailand. Um, as you can see, I'm sat in my greenhouse and behind me you can see how wonderful my tomato plants are, how much they've grown. They've grown fantastically over the seven week period since I started, since I put the, the plants into the bucket system. But on the other hand, my peppers on this side they haven't grown so well um, they were doing really really great all the leaves were fantastic the flowers had started budding for the peppers but then something attacked it something happened i don't really know what looking on youtube and looking on google it says i could have overwatered it underwatered it could be an infestation of mites and one thing and another but what i did find was a huge nest of ants in the greenhouse They've got in the pipework and the set up a huge and there was thousands and thousands of um, little ants which had also got into all the buckets, got onto all of the the um, the plants, the pepper plants. So googled it and it said they could be eating the bugs from the peppers that was causing a sugary coating which attracts the ants anyway. So ruthless i had to take out all of the plants destroy all of the plants find out where the nest was the ant nest and destroy the ant nest um so yeah a little bit of a setback but my spare tomato plants that i had in the middle of the greenhouse have just transplanted them into the buckets that, that you can see so these plants will be about five or six weeks behind them ones behind me so i should have tomatoes now for quite a, quite a few months uh, but hydroponics can be addictive um, I thought okay I'll start a few melons and so I was going to start to build a, a little lean-to just to, to cover the melons to stop the bugs from getting at it and I've ended up building a plastic greenhouse out of plastic half inch water pipe um, with the supports and the, the trusses and I've also put um, cross bracing in to support the vine leaves as they grow up to stop the vine leaves from going all over the floor and um, I haven't quite finished it yet because I hurt my back so I've left it for two or three days but as you can see by the photographs the vines have took off really really well they're growing really really strong too quick for my liking because I haven't been able to put the net around the greenhouse but hopefully that should be done Monday or Tuesday in the next two or three days and um, there's not many videos on hydroponic melons there's quite a few videos showing photographs but not really explaining the methods on how people have done it in thailand so what i've done i've done it the bucket system by putting um, a mixture of a and b mixture into the water so it's nutrient filled buckets of nutrients water and grew the the seeds from new and then once the rooting system just transferred them into the bucket on a couple of other photographs I'll show you, I had the black plastic bags around the buckets to stop the light from getting and stop stopping the algae from forming. Boy did this make the water really really hot because melons like full sun and by sticking them in the full sun the black, blackness of the bag attracts the heat so what I ended up doing is buying some um, silverback foil foam and wrap the buckets with them and what this does is amazing it keeps the water temperature nice and cool and um, so it doesn't boil the roots like it was happening with the black plastic bags it's a little cost but it does help one thing or another because it stops the water from getting too hot as you can see that they're, they're thriving from three or four weeks now since I planted the seeds and um, put the strings up so now they're climbing the strings so the vines so once one melon appears on there and it seems to be pretty well developed i'll just disconnect any of the melons that come on onto there so it, that gives all the full sweetness to one melon so it can be addictive this hydroponics i love it it, it gives me something to do and i've already got people who are asking when they're ready for sale and I sell it to them so it can make you a little bit of money also so yeah hydroponics can become addictive so anybody that 
carries on doing it over here in Thailand. Any advice I can give you, I'll give you anything and everything that I've learned, the mistakes that I've made and the successes that I've made. So please feel free to ask. Or if you've got any advice, please feel free to do so. Give me any advice and I'll look and read anything and everything that anybody sends me. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now.